Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some good old Regalia Lost. Today's video is going to be focused on the second of the four Fire Emblem characters we will be revisiting until the Fire Emblem event comes in like three days now? Three days? We should get news of them pretty soon, but today's video is going to focus on Veronica, so yeah. That's going to be the focus of today's video. If you want to give me your basic thoughts on her, share whatever you want, comment about that kind of stuff. Leave a like if you end up liking this video as we are going to go through Veronica. So let me first get into what she actually does. We have Gespence. Deal shadow damage to the... Deal, deal shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies. The lower the user's HP, the more damage this skill does. Nosferatu. Deals shadow damage to the surrounding enemies and restores 5% of the damage inflicted at his HP to the users. The recovery caps at 50% of their maximum HP. Skill damage 50%, that's kind of... Uh, that should be <laughs> fairly obvious what it does. Shadow HP below 40% equals light resistance 10%. Last destruction. Increase the damage of the next attack skill used by each team member by 40% when the user drops to 30% once per quest. Paralyzed resistance 100% up. Skill skill prep 100% up, and that's basically what she's got. Um, so here's the thing about Veronica. So I need to bring you back into the mindset of specifically when she was released. I know it's hard to imagine considering how Drugalia is now, but at launch, Drugalia actually didn't have um, a lot of good shadow units. Actually, the, the running joke was that um, they were actually afraid because in Grand Blue Fantasy, they actually had a really big issue where when um, it came to actually balancing, I'm not gonna do expert, I don't wanna, uh, you can definitely use her for expert. No, um, well, let me first do standard. I'm doing standard just because I know for a fact I'll be able to get people in here because it's just gonna be four, three Gala Alexes. Um, oh, actually, I could just run this myself. All right, screw it. Let me uh, go back to finishing this and then I'll actually just run it myself. I forgot I completely can do that and not deal with co-op. Um, so yeah, back in her release, it was actually funny enough, the only good shadow unit was the super limited Iyasu, which is, was from the New Year's banner. And that was basically it, kind of. Cleo was really good. And I, when I say like there were no good shadow units, it's more in the sense of like when you compared them to everything that was available at the time, it was very clear that there was something wrong with the specific power of shadow. They were extremely um, weak for a very long time until they stopped being weak. Um, but yeah, but, but when she was released, um, she was fantastic. She dealt a lot of damage. Um, you obviously always wanted to keep her HP low and stuff like that. Um, the thing that ended up screwing her over is, as you can see here, she's a wand unit. And not long after Veronica was released, in came Galicleo, and Galicleo completely ate up whatever meta there was for Shadow and just made it all about her and no one else, um, with occasional Audric. Um, so that's kind of what happened to her. It's not that she's really gone and it's... <laughs> If you can make a debate whether or not our Marth is better than Yuiden, people definitely want to use Yuiden more because he's one more available and he has higher stats and stuff. But that doesn't mean anything for uh, that doesn't mean that Marth, for example, doesn't have fantastic skills and stuff like that. Like he, he has very aged well skills. Um, Veronica, though, she's definitely aged the most, I think, out of all the Fire Emblem characters, just because like. Her specific role has been kind of taken over and not as it's not the same thing anymore. So before I actually go into uh, Cayenne, I will say, um, based on my experience with High Jupiter, I would imagine using her is possible because you really it, it's better to have like a ranged character for High Jupiter so you can not have to deal with his giant pecs. Um, the problem is is that you really want her low on HP and High Jupiter. The lower on HP you are, the closer you are to just insta dying. Um, so that can be an issue. Uh, so let's go into Cayenne real quick. Specifically standard, because I can do standard solo. And I'll include a, um, I'll use Lord. But yeah, that's the, her main thing. I also say that it's funny enough that a lot of shadow, some of the, two of the, a lot of good shadow units right now actually have a mechanic similar to hers where when they're below 30 HP, 30 HP, 30% 30 HP, they get super strong. 
like the two new ones from the recent event and um, Valentine's I Itis, for example, are similar in the Berserker kind of playstyle. She was kind of one of the first, not, I don't want to say she is the exact first, but she might be pretty close to the first um, Berserker style of um, character. So, let me see. You actually want to get some damage done with her, so... This is going to be interesting because you actually kind of want to take some damage so you can actually activate her effect. So I'm going to see if I can get my HP lower a bit. Perfect. Perfect. I just want to show her at like peak power basically. Hit me more old man. Ah, uh, Cleo healed me. Come on. Old man hit me. There we go. Hit me. Hit me. Keep on hitting me dude. You got this. Cayenne. There we go. Perfect. I was healed immediately. There we go. A little bit more. Come on. Alright. Oh, okay. There you go. Well, she, <laughs> she unfortunately died horribly because I forgot to let her go. But now her effect does still activate where everyone's super powered now. Let me quickly use everyone else. Um... But yeah, that's kind of the thing of like specific berserker style playing people is that it's actually super easy to get them killed if you're not thinking. And I obviously wasn't thinking because I wanted him to deal damage from him. That's obviously something more that relies on the skill of the player itself. Like obviously a better skilled player is going to be better with them in general. Um, just to say, like, just to, you know, give some excuses for her, because I'm not the greatest uh, Dracalia player in the world. But, let me just go here. As you can see here, because I've never used Iasu very much, I've mainly had the AI use him because I prefer using someone like Leo. So, there we go. Let me just finish. I do still need to get some Cayenne stuff, so I will actually legitimately beat him. <laughs> There we go. Um, so yeah, she can definitely be used for a lot of events, but the main thing about her is that I feel like she's not bad, she's just older, which I'm going to be very interested to see how they mana spiral her, mana spiral? Mana spiral her, because there's a lot of ways you could actually do her. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ways you could make her uh, different from the other shadow units. So obviously her main gimmick is still going to be the fact that when she hits low HP, um, she's going to deal extra damage. The question is, is that what happens when... Um, w what exactly are you going to play at? Because there's multiple ways that they can build it, especially now that we have the units that we do who are more f focused on like low HP stuff. Like the ones I mentioned previously. I'm going to try one more with her. Uh, just to see if I can get her to deal the damage that I want her to. No, it's fine. Okay. Oops, I forgot to hit repeat. Oops, no, not expert. I can't solo expert at the moment. But yeah, some of the things that actually kind of do hold her back, which is funny, because the main, um, I do mention Jupiter, and you do need to beat Jupiter eventually to get um, weapons for light still. Um, but at the moment, it's just like so much easier to use other units that aren't her, <laughs> that are had to have more of a leeway, at least at the moment. Again, when that mana spiral happens for her, who knows how she's going to end up looking. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to let him hit me. Hit me. Perfect. I'm actually going to use it right now. Deals a decent amount of damage. Use this to heal up again. Let him beat me up a bit. It's fine because I have a Cleo. Come on. I really want to get lower to um, activate some of her stuff. Okay, right here. Let me try using it here. Perfect. Again, her main gimmick right now is just that um, other units do her gimmick better at the moment. So for the Mana Spiral, I don't know what kind of thing they're going to give to her. It's definitely going to still focus on keeping your HP up, getting like dealing more damage. How much it's going to do is going to be really interesting. If anything, I think they should figure out a way to maybe 
like if maybe I don't know if they would work because I don't know a lot about Veronica's specific like backstory from Fire Emblem Heroes. But if they could give that new dragon, like give her like a, the Dragon Gauge drive that a lot of the other newer Berserker dudes have, um, I think it'd end up like being pretty cool. So oh, this is perfect. I'm just gonna deal a bunch of damage to myself. There. Okay. Okay, that was the damage from her. Then I forgot to heal. The weak will be eliminated as they Perfect. We go here. But yeah, her main, the main thing that I should say in summary, and you should of course, if you have thoughts specifically about Veronica, if you are someone who's been diehard Veronica since she's been released, because that's the one thing I'm definitely not, is that once um, other units from Shadow start, once she started to get kind of like usurped, I stopped using her. Um, I ended up getting better shadow units than her, so I ended up stop using her. So I don't have the specific sp perspective of someone who's just non-stop has kept keep using her and stuff. I only have it from the idea of like, here's what I see what this unit does, and this is kind of what I would like to see um, in the future for her. So if you have specific thoughts about it, I'd love to hear it. I should have asked Lerp what he would have thought. Lerp is usually my go-to asking for people for that. But that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. Again, tell me how you feel about Veronica. What are you looking for in her mana spiral? It, are you a big fan of her? Because if you, I'm really curious about how many people are actually going to summon on part one of Fire Emblem Heroes, knowing for a fact that we've got others. If these mana spirals are extremely good, like how many people are kind of expecting them to be, um... It's gonna be nuts how she's gonna, especially like the funny enough, all the other units kind of don't have much competition, but Veronica has a lot of competition. And if it's anything like the recent um, mana spirals for the three shadow units that we got, who were like, oh, these don't seem very good, and then it turned out like, oh, accidentally one of this is one of these dudes is one of the best DPSs for shadow now. Oops, accidentally, not accidentally, but it turned out like, oh, they're much better. It's gonna be very interesting to see how she's gonna end up looking because they could definitely do a thing where she doesn't look super interesting on paper, but then when we actually go using her, it turns out like, oh no, we were all wrong. She was extremely powerful. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. Again, once again, remember, if you like the video, leave a like. Subscribe to me if you're, if you're, bleh. subscribe for me, subscribe for me. Subscribe to me if you want more stuff like this where I don't know what to say. And that's the end of today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.